What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Chainsaw Man. This one is episode seven. This one is called The Taste of a Kiss. Remember, check out that Patreon for the full uncut versions as well as early access to the other shows I'm watching. Don't forget to check out the social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Let's hop right on into it. Chainsaw Man, episode seven. Let's do it. So we're immediately where we're leaving off. Can't believe you took that stabbing for me. I'm about to go jump in this thing and do some denji dis destruction with the music going in too come on he said himself he's not gonna go out without a fight you know just the intestines i knew you were alive chainsaw which you guys pointed out to me in the comments last week specifically i appreciate you immensely that when he says chainsaw, I always assume Denji. He's not talking about Denji. He would say Denji. He's talking about Pochita, I have to assume. The chainsaw devil. Which I'm very curious to know a little bit more about his backstory as well. Yeah, is he just going to be never-ending slicing if he can't find his heart? That's the only way to kill it. How far have you, you have fallen, chainsaw? See, that's what gets me curious. They're just watching this all happen from this weird angle because of the way this area is disturbed. You know what I'm trying to say. We're in like a pocket dimension. So it tastes horrible. But it's worth it just watching you shriek in pain. That's demented. I love that. I have a feeling that's why I don't want to pause it. Don't talk too much, but I have a feeling that's why she just did her little no, 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 and then immediately asked him, "Hey, do you want to join this other sector with me and not have to fight?" Because she knows he's serious about this, and he, she knows he's going to die if he continues down this path of trying to fight the Gun Devil, which understandable, especially coming with coming from someone like her who doesn't want to see another partner die. Completely understandable. She's grown to like him. And does not want to see him die. And normal. Like, he's not insane, which means he's gonna die. And as we cut back to Denji, who is the exact opposite. Insane. Oh, she with the ghost hand reignited. I love that. I love that. Eureka, dude. Look at, he's in a pool of blood. It's a perpetual motion machine of death and destruction. Okay, Mr. Inventive Genius. And save your boy Aki. Maybe that'll make you like Denji a little bit more. I'm praying so. That was a crazy way they visualized that. How long has it been? Yeah, they're dying of dehydration, starvation, malnutrition, whatever the fuck I'm trying to say. That's cute. He said, please kill me. I apologize. I'm sorry already. He's literally been fighting him for three days straight. Is that the heart? He finally found it after three days of fighting and they finally made it out. Oh my god, would I never want to go to a hotel motel again. So they got a piece, a, su a successful chunk, they could say. Now, Himeno's gonna give him a kiss. Please. I won't lie, I would never smoke cigarettes, but cigarettes always look fucking sweet in anime. They really do. Really? Okay. That's what I'm curious about. I need to know more about her backstory and why she is so interested. Mmm. Interest. Yeah, that's interesting. Ooh. Smooth transition, Kanpai. I was just out drinking with some friends last night. Some soju and stuff. Not beer, though. Even though... I don't know what they did to this animation, but it looks real good. 
Okay, Kobani with the outside social clothes, looking kind of dapper. How reason? Oh, if our fiend is reasonable, yours is on. Oh, it said Kisu Tempora, so it reminded him of the kiss. <laughs> Dude, it's all is forgiven. Super forgiven. Hobbies. My name's Denji. I like jam. I'm 16 if I remember. He doesn't even really know his own age. Eating, sleeping. I thought he was going to say boobies. Denji's only 16? I guess. I don't see that. Our eyes 22. He likes haikus. Haikus. Talk about a vibe killer. Orion Kobani. Like... So that's why Himeno was talking about private. I guess it would make sense if there was divisions of devil work and devil slaying that a private entity, I, I assume when you mean private, you mean dealing for specific clients and different contract, uh, contractors, stuff like that. Um, but public is just anyone that they deem necessary to save for public safety. So it would make a lot more sense versus that you're dealing with the bigger, the badder, the more scary. But damn, died yesterday? That's facts. Talk about timing. Even the other workers never seen her in person? Yes, you, baby girl. No, ma'am. Damn, now everything's getting exposed. <laughs> Talk about being stuck between a rock and a hard place. What are you guys choosing? Good plan. Yes, let's talk about this, please. <laughs> Always gotta do it into something. Oh my god. And Makima's still chilling. Little do you guys know, she's the alcohol devil. That's why, you know. Yeah, no, I almost just threw it myself. I'll be honest with you. I don't want to watch the show anymore. I mean, I get it. When he grew up in the situation he did, I found something edible. You eat whatever you can. Okay, I thought he was going to do it again. What kind of mammals are they? As it cuts... Nah, I can't. I physically cannot watch this right now. I want everything I love. I'm glad Orion and him can have some sort of bonding right here, you know? Yeah, if anyone, you should not be jealous of me, you know? I'm glad after the thing, though, they just went through in terms of the hotel situation. Orion can help him in some sort of way. I like that. Shouts out to... Shouts out to that. You're not a real co-worker unless you've wanted to kill him, feed him to a devil, and then helped him through up when a girl barfed in his mouth later. That's, that's a real co-worker right there. You should try to aspire to be like that. Oh, you wouldn't need water after throwing up that much. You would be so dehydrated. 
I have a feeling with the angle we're at, though, and he's looking up, if he looks to his right or his left, he's going to might see Heeman now. That's why, I mean, she obviously does not like Aki fawning all over Makima, especially because she likes Aki so much, you know. I get it. But goddamn Himano, that's all I'm saying. Goddamn Himano. Oh, that is a cool ending. It was like the pixel style dinner rat, uh, Kobani coming to join. It's like we're playing a video game, you know, like an 8-bit pixel game. Oh, it's like a JRPG. Oh, this is fucking sweet. I can't lie. All the women in this show are a little fine. You know what I'm saying? Okay. What the fuck is wrong with this ending? With the food, too. Oh, my God. That was an incredible yet horrifying episode. I don't even know how to begin for this episode. I loved it so much. I feel for my man Denji. He is going through experiences that like, I gotta say, it's gonna turn him into a man. Like he's gonna look like right now he's going through some shit. But he's gonna look back on this like five, 10 years in the future. And he's gonna be like, this was quite the experience. <laughs> That's all I can fucking say. Like, don't get me wrong, I would absolutely hate to go with through he just went through with Himeno, um, in terms of the bar specifically afterwards. You know, we could we could have a discussion, but um Imagine that story though. Like, let's say whatever happens ten years in the future, let's say he's a devil hunting god. You know, back when I first started Makima, I was at a drinking party with the other rookies getting to know my squad, and Makima came in, but Himeno promised me a kiss and I couldn't and then she was drunk, and then we all and then she barfed in my mouth and then a rye helped me th and then i got taken home by her and it was just that and the other and it was that and the other. like it's like talk about a goddamn story i don't know what else to say i'm genuinely flabbergasted by this episode like between the crazy fight between the flashback to i'm gonna call him nanami because himeno just called him master i don't know his name and he's the voice actor for nanami and he's dapper as fuck like nanami I'm gonna call him Nanami for now. Um, I love that flashback of he Nanami and Hinamino talking at the cemetery of her regularly, consistently visiting her ex-partners who are also rational people just like her. But as time has gone on, her loose, her screws have gotten a little looser. She's a little, you know, which is, I do agree with what Nanami was saying, how you do need that because if your rational fear is going to empower, they just know how to fuck with you more. You know, it's, it's, it's a very interesting concept in, in a show like this. Like, you don't see that in like Demon Slayer, JJK, whereas like the crazier you are, the better it helps you deal with these things because they less know your mental state and how to fuck with you. And it makes a lot of sense between that and Aki and Denji fucking fawning over Makima and he there's a lot of subtleties that just play in the character development that are so show not tell like I love that so much with the show like Himeno has such a detailed in-depth personality but it's all been show not tell I love it so much like I think obviously a part of her was attracted to Denji because uh she was drunk and she promised him that but a huge part of her was attracted to denji in that situation because of how makima wants his attention and that only relates back to aki and how uh attached and attracted she is to aki who also was fawning over makima and is used by makima she's like why are you guys obsessed with this woman i am right here all voluptuous and shit and i like there's a lot of subtlety like that to character development that a lot of people could probably miss and, and it's overshadowed in in all the chainsaw blood titties you know so this show for it being very and i when i say service level i don't mean that in a bad way because there are people who watch shows for service level content and there are people who watch shows to, to go a little deeper you know and this show was surprising to me in which it has both it has if you just want to watch crazy action titties being fondled you got that if you want in-depth character development and 
very realistic but very well placed minor little things every now and then you get that as well like this like for people saying this show is overrated and overhyped i don't know what they're expecting like i don't know if they expected jesus to come out and grace you by the you know what i'm saying like this is everything i've wanted and more this is this is beyond my expectations which were already very high to start with I've been ranting for a few minutes, so I'm going to end this episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe. Click that bell. Check out the Patreon for the full uncuts. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.